friends, yes, it's going to be a complex journey here because not only are we journeying from my artistic journey as somebody who works a day job and then has to fit everything else in and still get her dreams in, we are also working on someone who also needs some, a couple more day jobs who would like to work online from home. And so that's going to be part of the program as well. So yes, I mean, there's lots of people that have channels about working online. And so mine will be a little bit like that. So yeah, ever since I was about to graduate from college with my degree in theater and acting, I wanted to find ways to work from home so I could support my habit and of acting and be flexible and do my own thing and follow my dreams. Well, uh, many years of study and with not much success. And the things, a few things I was looking at this week. Um, well, one thing that is fairly successful online is inbox dollars and swag bucks. They're not a lot of money, but they do, they do pay and they are legitimate and they're kind of fun. Something to do on the side. Um, I'm going to look up some other sites. I, in the past, I never stuck with other survey or clicking sites, but I'm going to continue to research it, not leave any stone unturned. So, um, so there's that. So I will recommend swag bucks and inbox box dollars. I don't work on them real hard, so I probably could make more money if I worked harder. Like I said, it's, you know, here and there, a hundred dollars, you know, fifty dollars. It's not much, but I mean, every little bit helps. So there's that. And this past week, I was looking, thought, oh, look up, you know, in the old days, they had assemble crafts at home. They had things like that. And um, it always sounded really weird. And uh, it sounded, you know, too good to be true. And, and I even did send away a couple times for those things just to test it. And what it seemed like it was is, hey, you're buying a booklet that tells you how to assemble crafts from home. But there, there aren't any crafts because you... All you do to make money is you sell the booklet on how to make crafts to other people who think they're going to make crafts. Uh, so it's kind of a very weird and shady way of um, <laughs> of doing things. So yes, so I would think, oh, that's very shady, so I wouldn't do such a thing. But of course, not everybody is that way. So and and rumors were that there were a few legitimate companies but they were didn't pay much and it rejected stuff a lot and stuff so so i was looking them up this week and it's like a trip back into the 90s or the two, early 2000s the pre-internet world and here i discovered that you know, most of these companies the ones that really were something they had gone out of business were no longer functioning. I'm like, okay. So basically those craft at home companies assembly are sort of belong to the pre-internet world. Things are much more sophisticated now. So, so yes, yeah, so there's that. So we laid that to rest. Then I went back and looked up some of the direct sales companies and actually numbers of those go out of business as well. So, um, so if you're, but I mean, I would consider, I did Avon once right out of college and I just didn't think I had enough people to sell. And that was back in 2006. The internet was kind of in its infancy. Um, I didn't understand business. I didn't have a following. And so I'm like, ah. Eh. But um, now as I look, I, I see that basically direct sales is sort of like an affiliate marketing type of deal. And I might consider trying it again sometime. Um, maybe I won't tell you which one I'm thinking of yet because... I don't plan on starting it right away, but basically look for a company that uh, has been in business for a while and that you like the feel of their website, you like their products. Um, some companies, I think they don't have a good variety or they're like too expensive or, you know, there's just something about them I don't like or I don't like the style, but pick something that goes with your personality and your interests. So I would say um, there's some direct sales companies that are more... Uh, reputable than others and I'm looking at a few but even so I do not think I want to jump into that right away because they can be tricky I would like to continue working on like so my blog my channels and really build up build up you know my audience and that way because basically once you have an audience then if you had like a direct sales on the side or affiliate marketing on the side 
then you would just market those things as part of your you know, company and it wouldn't be as difficult. So at least I feel like I'm starting to get some nuggets of wisdom and knowledge as a businesswoman. <laughs> About time, huh? So also, some of these companies, the ones I think look better, uh, sound like they give you some good training. And here I was wanting to get a course on e-commerce. And I, I tried taking one once, but it, it just wasn't what I wanted. They weren't giving me e-commerce. They were giving me all kind of weird other kind of business stuff, so I didn't take it. But yeah, so for sure, signing up for some of these companies now could be like a course in e-commerce because they're going to train you. So I'm like, huh, that might be useful in, in my own business life to work with a company who will give me on-the-job training. Like I said, back in 2006, you know, the Internet was still so young, there wasn't a lot that could be um, done. So, so yes, I mean, so start, signing up is not just a matter of thinking, oh, I have so many people to sell to. Basically, I want to learn e-commerce. And it would be like taking a course in e-commerce studies, so. So yes, so that's where I am in my studies here. And of course, as I said, I do want to try all these different businesses, try working for them, applying to them, and setting up the different sites. And then, of course, I will report to you what I have learned. And hopefully we will climb the ladder of success together. All right, we'll talk to you later. Take care.